The Lady Bearcats traveled to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, seeking a season sweep over PAC rival Westminster College. The game was even in the early stages, with the team sharing a pair of leads over the opening four minutes. Shot. No good. Gets her own rebound, and the tip in is good. Devin McGrath gives the Bearcats the 4 2 lead. A good take there by McGrath baseline. Missed the layup, got her own offensive rebound, and put it back in. A steal here for the Lady Bearcats. Another steal off that press. No look pass from Barafio to Manzer underneath. Her layup is good, and it's six. Barafio had a hand on it, but she loses the handle. Andy Ridge picks it up. Now Westminster will come on the fast break. Riley to McCarthy. McCarthy baseline layup. It's good. And Westminster goes ahead seven to six. St. Vincent then looked to gain control using a 15-4 run capped with a Brittany Sedlock basket that put the Lady Bearcats in front 21-9 at the midpoint of the first half. And Dolsack gets her pocket picked from Sedlock. Loose ball comes to Barafio. Three on one. Barafio bounce past Sedlock. Underneath. Layup. Good. Manzer far out on the right wing with the ball. Looks inside. Fires a cross court pass to Belovich. Belovich dumps it inside to McGrath. McGrath one touch pass into the corner to Fenton. Fenton's three pointer up. And nothing but net. Emily Fenton makes it 13 to 7. Get the basketball. Now she feeds it to the high post to McGrath. McGrath hands it off to Sedlock. Sedlock driving through the hole. Left handed hook shot. Nice move by Sedlock to get the basket off. Westminster chipped away at the deficit, pulling to within 21 to 17 with eight minutes remaining. But threes from Emily Fenton and Melissa Manser allow the Lady Bearcats to regain a 10 point advantage, 27 to 17, just one minute later. Long errant pass underneath into the post for Westminster. Riley, I don't know who she was looking in for, but it's intercepted by Jordan Clinton. Long baseball pass up to Melissa Manzer, who will hit a three-pointer on the run from the corner. The teams traded baskets over the closing minutes of the half, and St. Vincent took a 36-26 lead into the intermission. Nowhere to go with it. Dangerously close to five seconds. Fenton picks off the inbounds pass. Fenton all alone down the middle. Shot up, layup, good. Fenton with 10, 30. After buckets from Sedlock, Manzer, and Ashley Belovich, the Lady Bearcats led 45 to 36 with 13 minutes left in regulation. There's Fenton at the top of the key, hands it off to McGrath on the foul line. Far corner, Belovich, three pointers up and good, Ashley Belovich. The Titans, however, then went on the comeback trail. Westminster scored 14 of the game's next 17 points, tying the game at 45 at the midpoint of the half before taking their first lead in over 30 minutes of action, 50 to 48, with 8.30 left to play. Westminster breaks the press. They'll set up the offense here on the uh, near side of the court, spinning underneath his ridge, a nice post move, lead back to Westminster, 50 to 48. SVC's Maria Barafio then took over, scoring 10 points over a four minute span to cap an 11 to two run and allow St. Vincent to regain the lead 59 to 52 with four minutes left. Barafio, she'll put up another three from the Bearcats. She banks it home. High off the glass and in, Maria Barafio. She'll drive into the corner, go baseline, pull up jumper, in and it's good, and the foul. Here's Belovich onto the right wing to Barafio. Barafio, she'll stop, pull up jumper over two defenders from about 15 feet, falling to the floor, it's good. The Titans put together one last push, cutting the score to 59-58 with 118 remaining, but the duo of Manzer and Barafio put a stop to Westminster's comeback. Basketball off of a pass, she's able to retreat and get it. She gets the ball back at the top of the key, feeds a pass down low, and Manzer comes up with another steal. Manzer up to Barafio on the fast break, wide open layup, it's good. Barafio's lay-in put SVC up 63-58 with 30 seconds left, and Devin McGrath then hit three foul shots over the final 15 seconds to cap a 66-60 Lady Bearcat victory.